climate change is an example of the diplomacy is not only the more ethical approach, but in fact the only approach to solving problems of the contemporary world. Climate change is so complex that it can be addressed only by compromise and conciliation, two key tools of diplomacy. Nobody can be left out, especially those who are most vulnerable, such as small island states. Let us hope that climate change will trigger broader changes and make diplomacy the main tool in sorting out global problems. We may be thousands of miles apart in the real world, but in the second life, virtual world can share the same platform right here in front of the Maldives Virtual Embassy on Diplomacy Island. That such a thing is possible reflects the wonders of modern information technology, which has the power to bring us all together, no matter where we are. Too often in the past, climate change has been painted as either a collection of mind-boggling statistics or as some kind of possible future projection. The in new initiative attempts to redress this imbalance by highlighting the immediate impacts of global warming on individual people around the world, including on their human rights. We hope this initiative will provide an ethical and moral spur for world leaders meeting in December in Bali to finally agree a workable and effective global agreement to halt and reverse climate change. I think that you are in the front line of the battle against climate change. And I think that you can send not just a very clear alarm, but also a very clear message to the whole international community. First, about the urgency of dealing with the climate change challenge. Second, about the need for all countries to live up to their responsibilities in this important area. And third, for us to ensure that we don't forget the need to adapt to climate change as well as to combat it. I spent a year and a half as Secretary of State for the Environment. Some of the most memorable conversations were with representatives from Tuvalu who explained to me the very serious and present danger that they face. Their contribution to international discussions, I think, spoke volumes for the ability of small island states to dramatize the human dimension of climate change. It's 20 years now since Malta first introduced the resolution in the General Assembly relating to climate change as a common concern of mankind. It's also 20 years since the President of the Maldives brought to the attention of the international community the importance of preserving the climate and taking into account the difficulties that rises in sea levels would cause to countries such as the Maldives and other islands in the oceans. It is a contribution that the small island states have given to the subject that is now so much on the forefront in the international debate. We hope this initiative will provide an ethical and moral spur for world leaders meeting in December in Bali to finally agree a workable and effective global agreement to halt and reverse climate change. We have waited 20 years. We cannot afford to wait another 20 years. In the real world, there is no second life. 